Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's Monday. It's a new week, a fresh start, all of that good stuff. You can set yourself new goals and everything. Like, maybe one of your goals will be that you like every single one of the videos of mine that you watch this week. Because maybe you don't always do that. If so, you'll be helping the cause. We're going for two and a half thousand likes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all of your support, even though we are in a very, very late stage of the cycle of this game. And of course, subscribe if maybe this is the first video of mine that you have watched. So, uh, this is the team. We're also going to do my ultimate tots pack today, which I'm quite excited about. But we're going to uh, we're going to kind of like rip the band-aid off and make a change here at the start, which might shock or surprise a couple of you. So, Di Maria, I've just not absolutely been loving. So I'm going to sell him. I'm going to get rid of him. Um, I bought him for 270. I could sell him for 320. So that's a nice little 50k profit, which is uh, really good. I'll take that. Um, because I had another idea. Like, I had another player in mind. Uh, and as you can see, once Di Maria sells, we can actually afford that player. So we do get 320k for him. Up to over 600k in the club now. Um, and I go straight onto the market. Because I was looking at Riyad Mahrez. Now, Mahrez seemed to be about 500k. Uh, so, I saw one at under, you know, at 489. I absolutely snapped him up. You'll see later on in the episode as to why that is a good or a bad thing. Um, yeah, when we do when we do the live last bit in a little, in a little while. Uh, but anyway, we've bought Mahrez. Um, this is how it's going to go. So, uh, after he's played 10 games, we'll be on the exact same chemistry team-wise as what we just were with Di Maria. Because we had Atal on 7 or 8 and Di Maria on 6 or 7, whatever it is. And now, we're going to have a 10 chem Mahrez, but only a 5 chem Atal. And when you look at it, I've put a sentinel on him as a wide mid in, uh, as like a wing back who just is a workhorse. And he still does get boosts on his card. And like, I'm really happy with his dribbling already. His pace is obviously great. Shooting's great. Passing's great. So I genuinely think a player of that stature with those stats could be absolutely fine on five chemistry. Like it's team of the season level players. Like if you play someone on five chem, Let's say even on basic, they'll get like plus ones, uh, little boosts here and there. Um, or if you narrow that down with a chemistry style, they'll get like plus twos, maybe a plus three if they're lucky. Um, which is actually still better than, or it's like bringing them on as a substitute. Like, and I never find players that are subs to be that bad on the game. So, yes, I am finally going to be playing with just a five chem player. I hope that doesn't bother too many of you. But genuinely, I haven't noticed a difference so far with Atal. I still think he's absolutely great. Um, so, we start the weekend league here uh, on... What are we, like, five? Five and two? I think I think that's where we're at um, after yesterday's session. Five and one? Five and one, right? Yeah, five and one. Because uh, and the only one loss we got was, uh, was the DC uh, in yesterday's episode. So, that's exactly where we're at right now. And this actually brings me into Saturday. I know you're watching this on Monday. Uh, but this, it, this brings me into Saturday. Um, and it is my gameplay from that. And as you can see, this is my very first game of the day. And uh, I I get done in, like, absolutely demolished first game. It was only 1-0, but it was just one of those games where I, I clearly wasn't warmed up and the guy was good. Uh, it was unfortunate, really, to, to get that game, game number one. But, hey, we kind of know we always lose game one of the session. So, we just take it and move on. But it did wind me up a little bit. I was a bit stressed from that one. So, uh, going into these next games here with a not particularly clear head. Uh, wasn't amazing, but hey, we we aim to try and uh, we aim to try and uh, get a better record than last weekend at least, which was like 14 and 10, 12, 14 and 12. I think it was 14 and 12. Surely we've got to do better than that, right? Honestly. My days. What a bad weekend that was. Uh, so we find ourselves 1-0 up in this game. And Riyad Mahrez is getting like, uh, uh, he's getting involved straight away. Which is what I want to see from him. And we even score with Mane. Um, Mares there hitting the bar. And... Uh and, and, and I think end up winning the ball back. And then he gets a little bit lucky with the way... Yeah, he keeps the ball there. Um, but he scores from it. And this guy had kind of given up at that point. Or at least I thought so, anyway. Uh, until I uh, basically kicked the ball right into Royce. 
and he gets a goal from it. So he's now sort of back in the game. Um, Atal is going to work his magic down the left-hand side, and he knocks it across into Henderson, who can, of course, smash that one home. Uh, and we are 4-1 up. So we restore our three-goal lead. And then just like that, I, uh, I give him another one. But, I mean, look at the bobbles and bounces, man. It is embarrassing. It's absolutely awful. Uh, and I think he even scores another one to make this game, which really should have just been like a 4-0. He makes it 4-3. And I'm like, okay, still half asleep. 3-5-2, you still get caught on the counter-attack. I'm struggling with it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really want to enjoy it. And I really want to, in uh, to learn the passing lanes and, and, and the attacking movement and stuff. I am just really struggling. Um, and that's... I mean, like, this session here, we do start to come up against 4-2-3-1 every game. Uh, and I've been noting that down on the old Excel spreadsheet. Actually, that's my new thing this week is uh, to, to note down what my opponent's formation is. I find it interesting. And considering I'm one of these people that is constantly moaning about the people playing 4-2-3-1, drop back one depth. I wanted to see, like, percentage-wise or numbers-wise, how many people I come up against this weekend that just play that meta way. Um... So, I'm recording it. Now, the first few games of my weekend league genuinely didn't seem to be that way. I think I played two in the first five games. Um, but there is a little stri a little row here. Like, we get a few in a row where they're all strung together and they're all 4-2-3-1. Um, and it's just, I think, once you start getting, like, somewhat match made, the first couple of games are genuinely, like, just, like, good luck or bad luck, depending on, on who you get matched up against. But then when you start to get, like, a... Even just like a plus two or a plus three uh, form, I, I think that things start to match you up against people that are doing the same thing. Uh, and, uh, and and normally that means that if people are getting wins, they're doing it because they're using like a strong formation on this game. Um, so yeah, I, I I would say that, I don't know, apparently 3-5-2 was supposed to be like the counter of 4-2-3-1. Doesn't seem the case though, really. Like I have been having less possession than ever. I felt... Um, like, I don't know, I've just felt like, you know those uh, those first few games of the weekend league where you actually have fun? You smash people because you get luckily match made against the guy that has only just really got into the weekend league and he's not got the greatest team. You know that, back in the day we used to have fun for a few games before it got stressful and sweaty. I just haven't had that this week. Or last week, really, I don't think. I may get the results here, and we may come away with a half-decent record. But, like, I haven't I haven't had a game where I genuinely felt like, oh, that attack that I just did there, I meant every single pass. It worked perfectly. It all just came together and actually worked. I'm in this state of, like, being really lost in the game. Like, I'm having way less possession. All of my passes feel under-hit. Um, and, and the direction doesn't feel great. Player switching feels just off to the point where I don't know if my controller's broken. Like, th that's where I'm at. This game right here, I mean, uh, I was 1-0 up and I just, I, I ex experienced some awful button delay. Where everything I was doing was so delayed and it just led to me making stupid mistakes. And I go from 1-0 up to 3-1 down against someone I should be beating. All right, so we throw the kitchen sink at him, and we do end up equalising here with Neymar right at the end. 85 minutes, like, and I had chances to win this one again, but I just, uh, there's something, I just feel out of control is the best way to describe it. Haven't had a single game where I, I felt in control, even like when you see some of the goals we score here, like... The pass, it feels and looks lethargic. Like I should have maybe shot with someone, but instead I've passed it and then it takes a second longer to actually make the ball go. And then it's an under hit pass and then you're shooting on the turn. It's just, that's how I would ex uh, explain my weekend league so far. Uh, I just It's just like a... a it, it doesn't motivate you to play. It actually, like every single game you go into, you sort of think, oh, this again... If he's a good player, I've obviously lost because I can't defend. And I obviously can't attack because, like, everything I try and do is under hit. And the, the, the passing and the runs and stuff is not right. So there's where I'm at right now uh, in the weekend league. I'll tell you what we can do, though. Is switch over to live lasty to do the ultimate tots guarantee. Okay, everyone. Welcome to the ultimate 
team of the season so far guaranteed SBC pack reward. Probably the longest name of anything ever. Um, this has got to be the most hyped possible pack of FIFA 20, I would say. Just because it features the best TOTS players on the game. There's a chance that we could get Mbappe, Neymar, De Bruyne, Van Dijk, Ronaldo. Like all of the 99s and all of the crazy cards are in there. And I am going to submit this squad that is on your screens right now in order to test my luck and potentially get one. I have been saving all of this stuff up as fodder and uh, I'm happy to risk it. Even though we could potentially and probably will get Sommer or Oblak um, to maybe, just maybe see that French flag or that Brazil flag or something, man. So, uh, the gold players in this squad are all a product of uh, the 82 to 88 pack. So, they've come in great handy there. Um, and then, Red Luis Alberto is obviously going to bring this rating up. This is a very expensive SBC. 89 rated with a 70 cam cap. That's kind of nuts. And I did not expect that from EA. I thought it was going to be maybe 88 rated and 70 cam or 60 cam. Um, but yeah, this one's a lot. So I absolutely don't care about getting rid of red Luis Alberto. There's potential we get him back in blue, which would be a shame. Uh, Ginter, yeah, that was from my deluxe pack. Happy to get rid of him. Uh, Evander, that was a squad battles challenge. It was just a free 92 that I got for fodder. And then, yes, I am going to be getting rid of... Uh, icon Ronald Koeman um, 309 games played for the club and what a great defender he was really really good obviously he's just never ever gonna make it back into one of my teams on this game so uh, he was kind of crucial to get the chemistry for everyone to take this over 70 before that I was like 10 or 12 chemistry off and everything on the market right now is ridiculously priced so I am going to use him instead of buying another 88 and then probably having to take Evander out and buy another player. I would have ended up spending 100k um, just just like that, just on a couple of players. So we're going to say goodbye to, to Komen and, uh, and it means that we keep these guys. So these were others that I was willing to submit. Um, Fuenza leader wouldn't have been an issue and Overmars is just an icon so maybe you, you think twice before you get rid of him uh, which is what we've done for Komen but we haven't uh, we, we've decided he's going Bernardo Silva I'm a little bit attached to this card just because he's played so many games and he's uh, he's just a, a nice card to own and then same with David Luiz really probably still the most capped player in the club Maybe I don't get rid of him just yet. Maybe I'll try and keep him for a little bit longer uh, So this is what we're gonna submit now this pack or this SBC was out, everyone did it, loads of people got Sancho, and then when I put this squad together, I was about to press submit, or I was about to come back and record my part for it, and it booted me off the servers, I went back in, and it wasn't there anymore, and we were like, what's going on, um, <laughs> and then it just reappeared, and it remembered that I'd favorited the SBC, it left all the players in place, so I think they've just changed the weights, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, um, but everyone seemed to be getting Sancho. I was willing to put this stuff in to get a free Sancho, uh, but I guess now it's just going to be back to the uh, it's going to be back to the Sommers and stuff, isn't it? So let's just go for this, shall we? Ultimate Tots guaranteed. Is it going to boot me from the servers and stuff? No. Uh, yeah, they're going from the starting eleven. I know. I know. Let's get rid. We've done it. Probably the biggest SBC of FIFA 20 for me. The ultimate tots guaranteed. The potential is there. I would love, like, the, the best... <sighs> There's two players I would love to see. Mbappe or De Bruyne. They would be, like, the ultimate two for me. I'd love that. Because they would fit my team, I think, nearly perfectly. Um, however, you know... I, I wouldn't say no to a Neymar to replace the player of the month one uh, or a Ben Yedder. That would kind of work probably as well. Guys, we'll see what happens, shall we? Let's just do this. Ultimate Tots player, smash a thumbs up. I want to see 4,000 likes on this episode for the Ultimate Tots player. I've pushed the button. Please, just don't give me one of the rubbish goalkeepers. Who are we going to get no it's Luis Alberto no <laughs> no I can't believe it we've just submitted him 
in red. Uh, and a whole bunch of other players. Including an icon. To get him back. I put the footwiz kit on and everything. Dan, I put your kit on because it's supposed to be lucky. Where's my luck? Oh, man. So, obviously, I'm gutted. Um, but what would have been even worse would probably be to get, like, a Mane pop-up. And we've already got him as a duplicate. This one, at least, isn't a duplicate. We own him. He's now back in the club. Um, he, he could slot back in on the bench if he wants. And we can use him again in an SBC down the line. There'll be something, you know, with the new cards coming out. Uh, the the summer heat stuff coming out, whatever that is. I've seen card designs now on the on the splash screen. And they look kind of cool. So if there's some really like ridiculous players with cool SBCs, there's a 97 rated player that I'll happily put into it. Um, you know what you're risking when you do the ultimate tots guarantee. This year we get our 97. We got Luis Alberto, a really bad one to get, but still a very high rating. It could have been summer. It could have been all black. It could have been a lot worse, but hey, it could have been so much better. I think last year we got a duplicate untradeable Quagliarella. So, and that was a 96 rated. So this year we've done it. We've done a bit better. Done a little bit better. Let's stick him in the club for now. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. There's no, there's no point to open this pack. I'll literally wait for Summer Heat to come out. And, and save it for then. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, the other thing that I was going to say to you. Is that obviously we've bought Mares. We've got Mares in the club. Um, that's great and all that. <laughs> I paid 489 And let me show you. Oh no, you're not going to want to see this. You're not going to want to see this. I don't want to see this. Oh wait, is he going back up? He, okay, so he's he's back up to 395. He's back slightly over, a, uh, under 100k of loss for us. Maybe a bit over 100k with tax. But yeah, he's basically 100k less than I paid. Uh, and we know that he's probably going to drop even further. But um, the other thing that I was going to show you is that we, we sold Di Maria for profit, right? We sold him for what? 50k profit? I think? Yeah, 50k profit. Or something like that anyway. Um, so we let's say we got a 50k profit from, from Di Maria. Uh, and we sold him for 320. Take a look at his price now. Let me go down to it. Unless he's gone back up as well. No, there you go. Is he in the, under 230? Wow, man. So he's dropped 100k as well. So any po literally 100k cheaper than what we that what we sold for. So if we'd have kept Di Maria, we'd have lost the money. The fact that we switched over and stuff, we made 50k profit in the process. I think that means that we're slightly up, doesn't it? I think, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I've lost over 100k on Mares already. Uh, and I think that would have literally happened if we'd have kept Di Maria and not bought Mares. So uh, yeah, no matter what, we were destined to lose money if we didn't go untradeable this weekend. Which is exactly what's happened. So I'm still only at 8 wins. As I'm recording this video for you, it's Saturday night. Um, I need to hopefully get to 10 tonight. So I'll start playing them um, for tomorrow's episode. And we're pushing to 14. So tomorrow might just be the push to 14. It might be, if all things go terribly, um, then it might be just my the, my next five games or something. And we, we save the last few for Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, guys, the ultimate tots guarantee has been done. Uh, it did not work out for us, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, so what? We go again. Let's get rid of this as a, as a concept squad. So uh, <laughs> there he goes. Luis Alberto had you in red. Don't have you anymore in red, but we do have you in blue. Uh, is, is he the best thing to put on the bench now? Probably. Probably. Yeah, I reckon so. Let's just put him back on the bench, shall we? Uh, how frustrating. How frustrating. I do hope that this man starts to perform a little bit better in the, in the next episode because he has been doing nothing for me at Striker this weekend, but we've probably talked about that earlier. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I know it wasn't what we all wanted to see, but my pack luck over the last few days has been so great that uh, there's no real complaints there. It would have just been amazing to pack like a De Bruyne or something. I guess we won't get a chance to use him this year. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Have a lovely day, everyone.
Sorry about the sunburn. I've, uh, I've had a lovely day out, day out in the sunshine in the garden and stuff. Uh, it has been amazing. So, uh, yeah, my tomatom is officially back. Uh, have a great one, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.